and uh, LBJ could do that for him. If, if he were president, right. he couldn't do much for Harvey or anybody as vice president. That was why he used uh, Harvey as the being available and corrupt. It was very easy for the even the vice president to uh, start working with Harvey or anybody else. Just say, I want you to do this, I want you to do that. Mm -hmm. And making sure that they had uh, money that was not their own to do whatever the LBJ wanted to have done. So that when the president was assassinated, the vice president was right there and ready to move along. It doesn't speak well for our democracy at that particular time. He, in my opinion, had a, an almost maniacal urge to become president. He regarded uh, JFK as, a, as he was, in fact, an obstacle to achieving that. Uh, he could have waited for JFK to finish out his term and then undoubtedly a second term. So that would have put the LBJ at the head of a long list of people who were waiting for some change in the executive branch. Harvey was just a, a very strange and complicated individual. Uh, a lot of people have sort of suggested that he was uh, that alcohol had taken control of him. First of all, he never should have uh, been put in that position. I don't think that uh, uh, he had a pristine connection with anybody. Always had a gun on him, yeah. Particularly in Rome. Harvey uh, even carried guns into uh, restaurants and he would pull them out, slap them down on the, the table to the dismay of other diners, and uh, then he'd settle down to an afternoon of uh, uh, drinking, not eating much because he was way overweight, but certainly uh, uh, drinking. He had been uh, a deputy to Angleton mm -hmm. and very deeply involved in uh, counter-espionage activities. Well, Harvey had written in a memo at one point uh, when he was running the executive action program that he wanted to use Corsicans. He yeah, thought Cors wanted to use what? Corsicans yeah. uh, as hitmen. Do you think it's possible that when he was in Rome that he might have recruited a Corsican assassin to, to kill Kennedy? Yes. Uh -huh. It is possible. I mean, it's one thing to uh, set yourself up in splendid isolation and it's another thing to use that isolation as a tool right. so that uh, you're not uh, an immediate suspect in the case of a capital crime. Right, right, because he was in Rome. Is that understandable? Yeah, very, okay. very. My understanding is that Harvey had a very severe clash with Bobby Kennedy around the time of the missile crisis and that Kennedy basically I think it was earlier than that guy. and um, he posted a, an old slogan somewhere in the agency premises that said uh, the tree of liberty must be uh, uh, nourished by the blood of patriots and this incensed Bobby Kennedy and uh, they came, they clashed on that particular point. Seems ridiculous. You would think that Bobby would have embraced that particular philosophy, but he did not. And uh, I guess he figured that Harvey was trying to steal uh, some of the glory of uh, whatever was going on in those days. During the Cuban Missile Crisis, everything was extremely tense. And suddenly, uh, it was discovered that the Harvey had sent a team of people into, into Cuba 
And the Kennedys were very concerned that this crisis might explode into nuclear war. And uh, Robert Kennedy particularly was in a rage when he heard that this loose cannon had produced, a, for, added a further element of unpredictability to this, to this situation. Harvey hated the Kennedys. After the Cuban Missile Crisis, he had a confrontation with Bobby Kennedy that virtually ended his career, exiling him to an intelligence station in Rome. I mean, we had a terrible experience with the ones that were handling it at the time of the missile crisis. They were going to send 60 people into Cuba right during the missile crisis. Nobody knew what they were doing, and we pinned it down to the fellow who was supposed to, he was supposed to be in charge, and he said we planned it because the military wanted it done, and I asked the military, and they never heard of it. Oh, my God. This is the same fellow who did put the tunnel on the Berlin, and so he was, you remember that the tunnel in 1948? They, no, they yeah. constructed a tunnel under and yeah. built it up into the intelligence office of the, yeah. which was a hell of a project. Yeah. But he did that better than he did this. <laughs> of course, I was furious, because I said, you were dealing with people's lives, and the best of the Cubans, and they're the ones that volunteer, and then you're gonna go off with a half-ass operation such as this. We had a meeting at the Pentagon. I never saw it, I've never seen him since.